Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I wanted to show you guys how I've been editing a client's interview videos on Camtasia. Alright, so we've got a client and she's been doing a bunch of Skype interviews and in-person interviews and she's hired us to edit those videos for her. So I'm going to show you guys how I go about editing her interview type videos. Now this one in particular was done with Skype because the person that she was interviewing was not in the country so she had to do it online over Skype which you can do and it makes it a lot easier if you can't meet up with the person in person. Alright so first thing that I do before I edit is I input all of the media into the media bin here. So I go like this and I go and I import everything. I import any necessary pictures, the intro, the outro, and I'll show you where everything is placed. So I get the client to put all of this stuff in a Google Drive folder all the stuff that has to do with this person's particular interview. So like any pictures or video clips that the person that she's interviewing has provided, that gets put into a Google folder and then I go and download everything. Now I don't necessarily use everything, it's really dependent on the interview and what's being talked about, but at least you have everything before you actually start the edit. So first thing is to have everything in the media bin. So I've got the media files, this is the interview right here. I made this intro for her which I'm going to show you in a second and I also made an outro as well and this is her transparent logo that you see in the top right corner. But I'm going to lay it all out here on the timeline so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to zoom out and show you like the whole thing. As you can see this is long, this is about a 30 minute long video. The actual interview was like 28-29 minutes and you can see the majority of it right here down at the bottom. So first thing when I'm starting off the edit for the interview video is I'm going to go all the way to the beginning and then I'm going to place her intro. This is an intro that I made for her within Camtasia and it's a separate file that I have here so that I don't have to make it every single time I'm doing it an edit for her. I just made it once and then I place it as a separate video file. So I'll play it for you right now here. <laughs> So that right there was her intro that I made within Camtasia and how I made it is I went to the library and I went to Camtasia library and I went to intro and I believe I chose this one. Yeah, this one right here and I changed the colors, obviously added our own text and I added music to it, which I also found in the Camtasia library as well in music tracks. So I made this as a separate file for her and then I just plop that down whenever I'm doing an interview video for her. Next, I added this transition here. This is a fade transition. This is the most used transition that I use because it's very seamless but at the same time it adds that touch to show a little bit more professionalism with your video. If you were to add something like this or a flip, it wouldn't look as professional especially in the current industry that she's in and the interviews that she's doing. If you're doing like a totally creative project then yeah sure use all these crazy ones. But for this video we wanted to do a nice seamless transition so this is a fade through black so it goes to black and then it'll fade lighter and lighter until it reaches the video. So now here this bottom part is the actual interview that my client did through Skype and Skype allows you to uh, you know speak with one another and then you can actually record that so if you're doing an interview you can record it 
And this is actually one piece here. So this isn't two separate video clips. When you record on Skype and you get the video file, you'll actually have these, it looks like it's two separate, but it's actually one video and they've done like a nice uh, half and half separation. If you guys haven't seen my Skype tutorial on how to record your Skype calls if you're doing an interview type thing, I will have that down in the description down below. So I've placed the Skype interview here, the video file, and then with this I've added some audio adjustment. So I've gone to audio effects and I've dragged down noise removal on here. And how you know that you have noise removal on is when you click on your video file and you go over here, you will see that you have noise removal. If I didn't have noise removal, it would not say this on the video file. You can also see here that I did a fade in on the interview because in the beginning when my client is first speaking, it's a little bit loud for her intro when she's starting to first speak. So I just did a little bit of a fade in. I dragged this down to the beginning and it does this slanted thing here, which makes the audio go from lower to higher in a more gradual form rather than it just being like really loud right off the bat and scaring the viewer. Next, on top of the actual video file, I have this uh, transparent uh, logo for my client and it's right here at the top. I put this here for her so that her videos can be branded so that people know that these are from her channel and it's branded with her logo and brand. So I've placed that there on the top right corner. I made it a little bit smaller and then I gave it a little bit of a transparency. So you lower down the opacity which makes it a little bit more transparent. You don't have to but I just thought that it would be a nice touch to just fade it out just a little bit. Next we add the name tags for each person. So these two here are the name tags. So right here I've added this one right here and then this one right here. And this is so that the viewer knows, you know, who's who in the interview. And I've also added a behavior. You'll see they pop up slowly there in the beginning and they stay on the screen the entire time. So I added the behavior pop up. It's one of my favorite behaviors to use. Again, it's it looks cool, but then it's not too cheesy. It does this like popping up thing. And then once I have the pop up behavior on these two text pieces, I make sure that it just stays in place. So for the in, it's going to have hinge spring and it's coming from the bottom. During, I'm having nothing going on. Otherwise, when you put a behavior on something in the during and the out portion, it will kind of continue to do an animation unless you manually remove it and you go and put none and you put none. So now these are just gonna have a beginning animation, but they're just gonna stay put right there. And how I made these two little name tags is from the annotations and under the main tab here, callouts, I did this thing right here and it usually looks like that. Let's move it off here. But what I did was, let's say if I want to put my name, then I, what I did was highlight this, put it to white, then go over here and I want to make it black and you'll see the outlines kind of like an aqua. This is like the standard thing it comes in. I wanted it to be nice and clean, black and white, and then I wanted it to be like small like that. So that's kind of how I did those two name tags there. I wanted, again, nice, simple, sleek, nothing too crazy. This is like a professional type interview, so I just wanted it to be very clean and professional looking. So the name tags uh, can stay on the screen or you can remove them part way. In this case, I decided to leave them on screen the whole time. And then that's pretty much what's happening for the meat of the video. Now let's head to the end where I made an outro specifically. So I'm just going to go over here. 
and I made this outro for my client as well and it's basically showing people how to subscribe to her channel like physically showing people so I'll play it here right now <laughs> And then it just says subscribe because there's going to be new content weekly. So that is the whole interview process uh, that I edited is, you know, in the beginning you have the intro here, then the meat of the video, which is the actual interview, the Skype po portion, and then you have the outro, and then you have things here in the beginning like the logo there at the top, and then the two name tags here. I did also add one picture while uh, the interviewer was interviewing this lady. I put one picture of who she's interviewing on the screen because it related to what she was saying on the screen. I didn't use all of the media that was provided, only ones that uh, go with what they are saying during the interview. So that's pretty much it. You guys can do this for yourself if you are doing your own kind of interviews or if you are editing for other clients. If you guys are interested in more in-depth training, I've got a free Camtasia course that you guys can take. It's free for two months and the link will be down in the description below. I have nine plus hours of content and I'm continuously adding to that course. So feel free to check that out. If I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.